Hello, Mario. AutoCAD Basic 12.1 Blocks. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. In this instructional video, we're going to be looking at inserting blocks and dynamic blocks to various plans and things using the insert command tool palettes and the design center now one of the main things with AutoCAD is that you should only draw something once once you've drawn it you can store it away somewhere for use later on and one of the best ways of storing something away or one way of storing something away is to store it as a block in a drawing and then drag it out as you need it so your block might be a chair a bath a particular type of chair um, a type of car all manner of things and these blocks can be found on the internet or you can draw your own or get people to draw them for you all manner of things so they're very useful so let's go over and start working with these useful tools called blocks so the first thing we've got to do is open planam.dwg so file open drawing and in my drive in there autoclad night classes course files and of course it was plan am dot drawing so that will be under p for plan plan am and there it is the very drawing that um they mention now it says so we've got that open and in the insert tab block panel expand insert and select the block named disk units as shown in figure 1218 so uh, insert block oh block Oh, what's happening there? Oh, plan AM. Oh, here we go. Um, insert. Ah, there we go. And then we're going to go um, disk unit. So just uh, what happened there? Oh, perhaps it was taking a little while to load up. Insert disk unit okay and there it is there all right now the disk is attached to the cursor type r and place to select the rotate button r enter and specify a rotation angle ensure that zero is the angle and press enter so zeros there is the angle and we press enter yes type X and press enter to ensure that one is set to the X scale factor so X enter one enter and then it says um, check that the Y and Z so we go Y, enter, 1, enter, let's move that out of the way, and Z, enter, 1, enter. So the scale factors are all set to 1. Place the desk in the top right corner of the office as shown in uh, figure 12. 17 which is um, over the page top right corner of the office 
So let's just slot it right in there. And that should fit in there nicely. Okay. Insert another desk unit as the top left and set the round rotation angle to 90 degrees. So insert desk unit uh, insertion point um, there. So type R for rotation. Enter and the rotation angle will be 90 for this one. 90 which is good. And um, specify the insertion point, which I think we're right. we're happy with the scale because it, I don't think it would have changed. So there we go there, and we can see that that's fitting in there um, pretty well um, as it is in um, things. Insert chair blocks facing each of the desks. Set the rotation angles to 45 and minus. So insert chair, so that's going, I'm going to do this one here, and I'm going to do R for rotation, and 45, oh, oh, that'll have to go to that one there, okay, um, possibly there like that. Seems, seems pretty good. Okay, and then we'll do the other one, which must be, uh, repeat, insert, block name, chair, enter, and the rotation of minus 45, R, enter, minus 45, enter. Now will put the other chair up in there. And we just estimate that all like that. We could probably do that with object snap tracking and the like. Um, one. Yeah. So that's all looking pretty good there. Um, you just go with what it reads sometimes. There are sort of quick ways and things like that. Okay, um, insert another desk top left and then done the two chairs. In the ribbon, expand insert. Yes. And select more options. And to open the insert dialog, click browse and select table AM. Oh. And select table AM drawing, click OK, and place the table in the largest room. Okay, select. Um, right, so what are we doing here? Chair, select browse. Okay, and select table AM in your practice files. So that's there, there, course files, table AM. There it is there. So we're going to select that. Click OK and place the table in the largest room. OK, so the table is going in the largest room, which is uh, here. Round about there, and we can see that it's sort of in the middle. So let's just put it round about there. Well, I could line it up with there, I suppose, but there's fine. Okay, so that's the uh, the table, and in, in there, that's the table. Okay. Click OK and place insert chairs around the table. OK, so let's go insert chairs. And we'll put one 
Yeah. And let's get let's do this. Okay, so we can put a chair there. Um, we can copy the chair. Copy selection. We can. Uh, oh. Paste the chair, which we can um, we can just put there. Actually, well, we can put them all in all around the show, really. So that's the chairs in there. Now we just have to position them. Um, so that one there. Uh, move so we can move it. We can zoom in here, move it by this bit here, line it up on there, and put it there. Okay, so that's not too bad. These ones here, um, um, that one can rotate um, uh, 180. Right. Oh, control Z. Um, this one here. Rotate about that point there. 180 degrees. 180 degrees. No, that's not what we want to do. Okay. Rotate. Like that, and that one there. Um, want to rotate this one as well. Right click. Rotate. Select that point there. Like that there. Move them back. Out there. Okay. Um, not quite symmetrical with those ones, but they're enough. Oh, that hasn't moved at all. Um, this one here, need to rotate. Um, hmm. Mm, I'll try it with like that, that one there. So I changed it over to ortho, rotate there like that, just rotating ortho mode. And we'll just move this one here. Uh, there. Mm, it's not going quite so well. Move and turn off that ortho might make it move about a bit better. Put that one there like that. Move this one here. I mean, you just you can pop anywhere really. Get it all. There's ways of lining them all up and things. Okay, so that one can be deleted. And uh, finally, we get some chairs around the table. Not that symmetrical, sort of done it by eye, but you uh, can get it better than that if we wanted to measure it all up. And such as, such as copy and mirror to place the additional one. So, yeah, I used rotate. We can use copy and mirror. You could mirror those two up to there and that one across to there. Okay, so work with dynamic blocks. And this, we will get them from the pool, from the um, tool palettes to the floor plan and then manipulate them as shown in the diagram. So zoom in on the opening along the bottom wall of the plan. Just in there, I think. Okay. Yep, bottom wall of the plan. And ensure that object snap is toggled on and end point is selected. So that's on there. 
and end point is definitely selected. Okay. Uh, open tool palettes if it's not already open. View the types of blocks that are available in the different things. So I think the um, view here um, and tool palettes here and I think we want to go to the um, the tool palettes have a, appeared but on my second screen and I think we want to go to the architectural one here and um, insert door metric okay so where's door imperial door elevation uh, door window is it window or door oh door metric aluminium door metric here it is here so we're going to put that one right there I think yeah that looks pretty good that's where it is there right right on there snap the upper end point on the left wall as shown which is what we've done and note you might have to rotate the door to place it horizontally the door does not fit in the opening select the inserted door to display now i think we need to just do a little perhaps a little rotation here just to get everything rotated properly so we want that point there and we want to do a reference rotation reference so we want that point there and the second point there and we want them to line up there so that should uh, well might line everything up lengthen so we want to lengthen the door so the right and note um, so we select this here and then we lengthen this here and we want that to be 750 I think they say no that's not what they say we want it to be 900 uh, 900 900 there you go there now um, perhaps we need to just try our little rotation again rotate here uh, and do a reference rotation R for reference so we want that point there and that point there to line up there okay but that's not working so well is it okay um all right and now as shown and click to place it in that position click the flip switch to flip the hinge to the other side oh, flip the hinge to the other side so that's the that's there that's the not sure what they're meaning by that click the flip switch to flip switch the hinge to the other side which one's this one here no that's no good that's no good either what's this one here that's not right either okay so um click lists and open 90 the door swing changes to this angle so uh, is that one there list 90 changes to that angle all right and then um okay then we need to uh, maybe rotate. Things are not going quite so good here. Um, I 
I reckon. No, that's not quite, not quite so good. Um, might just start again with this one. I'm not that happy with it. So um, we go door metric, and we're going to put it there. Okay, that's where it goes. And then um, we're going to. Um, Um, there it is there, we need to, this is open 90, oh that's not, not going so good, oh, I'm going to move this bloody thing here, out of here, now the door size, which one's the door size, we wanted it to be 900, um, in there 900, Okay, yep, yeah, that's like that. And um, we wanted this here to be 90. And this here, that's right. And this, the direction of the swing. No, it's all, all good. Okay, no. 90 like that and then this okay so now we need to click this here and do a rotation here through here of Ninety degrees, which seems to be all sorted. Yeah. Now select um, pan to the smaller. So click, which is what we've done there. Lengthened it to nine hundred and click it in place in that location. So let's. Yeah, that's how the door should be. So that was a bit of a bit of shenanigans there. But anyway, we got there. All right, now, okay, pan to the smallest room and then drag and drop toilet metric into it. Okay, so, um, let's get rid of that. Oh, what the hell's that? Okay, um, okay, so, Pan to the smallest room and nag and drop a toilet metric into it. The toilet displays as a front view. Toilet Imperial. Um, window Imperial. Fluorescent. Toilet Imperial. Trees Imperial. Door elevation. Door metric. Oh, we've got to drag it down here. Toilet metric. Okay, and we're going to put that into the smallest room, which is over here. Okay. Um, okay, and the toilet displays as a front view. Pan the toilet displays. Select toilet to display the grips. Okay, so we'll put that. Select the toilet to display the grips. Click list and select elongated plan. Elongated plan. Okay. All right. And um, the plan top view of a toilet is displayed. Click that one. Uh, there, which is a line, a line, and move the cursor to place the toilet along the bottom wall. It aligns with the wall. So we're having a look at the diagram there, and um, uh, there it is there. So we're just going to um, put it in there for now. That'll do. Okay, 
there we go we've got the toilet there with a bit of gap a little bit of a gap down the side we might want to just move it a little bit this way okay all right um insert command add sink along the bottom wall on the left hand side of the toilet um so all right where's the sink Door Imperial, door, door, aluminium window, stud, toilet, trees. Okay. Use the insert command to add the sink. Ah, oh, insert command. So insert, insert, and sink. File cabinet, toilet. Oh, there it is. Sink. Okay. And that goes in. in there like that I suppose okay move along the wall on the left side of the toilet which we've got there so it's got to go in there so there's the midpoint um, oh that'll work like that so we'll just put it roughly there we go. So that's got our sink in place. Move the sink and toilet to the layer plumbing. So we just select them. Okay. And put them in the layer plumbing. Here it is here. Uh, plumbing layer. And they will go green. Well, sort of green. Yeah. So that's all well and good move the sink and toilet add doors to the bathroom and the small office place one door rotated at negative 90 adjust it with the grips as required then mirror it to create the other door okay so let's have a look so we're going to um, put in the metric door vehicles metric metric window door metric so now we're which um just looking at our diagram there so it's got to go on that one there okay and it's got to uh, uh 90 uh okay um and is this it here uh Okay, and then this is um, oh, no, it's not the one we want. What's this one? That one? No, that one. Oh, is it um, Control Z? Um, now, which one's this one here? Uh, Ninety. No, closed. Um, okay, so we need to have a bit of a look at this one, I think. Pull that one over there. Okay, as to how that's going to fit in there. Alright, um, it's actually going to go there. So let's um, rotate about this point here. And I'm picking about there like that. And then this here is going to come to there. Okay, and that, um, let's just see what size door that is. Um, I think that there tells us that, no, that's the one, that one there. No. Um, this one here. No, this one here, uh, no, that's wrong, we want it the other way, like that, um, what the hell, which one was it that gave us the distance, um, was it that one, no, that's the wall thickness, right, 
Okay, well that's where it's going anyway, but I didn't... The, the slider for the... Oh, it was that one. That one there, I think. Oh, yeah, 900. Yeah. Okay, that's that door there. Now, um, we need to get the door on the other one, so we can just mirror that one, but, um, oh, yeah, would be one way of doing it. Um, or we can just put it in, so just put uh, door metric, and it, um, it sits, it definitely sits on there. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, 90. Um, and then there. 900. Then we should be able to flip it over. Oh, there we go. So you get faster as you go along. Um, no, that's not quite right. It needs to be moved just a little bit, I think, so that that comes down to there. Yeah. Okay, so there's our two... Um, there's those doors in there. Um, add windows using the windows... Okay, so we've got the windows to add now. Okay, windows metric dynamic block in the pool. So the windows. Uh, how many? Oh, what have we got to do? Uh, add doors to the bathroom and small office. Uh, yep. And just it, then right, add windows using windows metric. Okay, Windows metric. Okay, so where do we want to go? How do the wind? What do the windows um, look like? Let's see. Um, uh, um, 900, I don't quite know no. what the windows are going to be. No, what's this here? Let's have a look. Um, block to object okay yeah and then this here yeah 1050 and then one fifty Let's put the windows in there, but um, doesn't look, look right, does it? That's um, sort of show you how the windows go. Okay, so that's what I've got for the windows. There which seems to be just that there, so that that one there comes into there, really. That's well, not quite right. I'm not really getting this. Oh, okay. Um, so we need to, no, rotate this way, uh, no, so 
that's the ring. So which one's the rotation? Not getting this one. No, that's not. That's just dropping it that way. So that's we we know that. Okay, what's the stair do? This is it there. So this here, we just must have to rotate, rotation 90, just go zero, oh yeah, and then that flips it that, uh, that'll flip it that way, okay, that's zero, 180, Mm. Mm. That goes there. That's all right. Mm, just go move. Put it there. It's got my window in, but I don't know. Um, Copy. Let's go like right that there. So if I put one there, there, and there, well, they're all the same size, those windows. That's so good. And I've got this window here. So CP that one into there and there. So that's all our windows done. Started to get a bit quicker. So we've got the um, desk up in that office there. Yeah, add the doors to the bathroom and the windows to add computers and file cabinets to the office, so, um, right, so what have we got there, um, the desk there, computer and file cabinet, okay, right, so I guess we go to insert for those, block, insert, and what have we got here? Um, windows, door metric, table, toilet metric, sink, door. So there's the file cabinet. So we'll pop that in there. Uh, what's the other thing we want? The file cabinet, the desk. Is that a, oh, that's like a computer unit, isn't it? Um, there. Window metric is chair computer and drop it. I'll drop that in. Uh, put that in there. Okay, that's a computer. And we need a desk sort of thing to put it on. Uh, insert. So, what have we got here? Uh, architectural tick. That there, computer, desk, ah, table, I think there's a desk there, and that'll go in here, in front of the window, like that, how's that, mm. yep, and we'll put a computer on it. Right. 
there, which can go in there like that. And then, okay, and then um, the filing cabinet um, needs to go in the corner there, like that. Yep. Oh, it's dotted like that. Oh, it's a little bit out of more. Oh, I'm going to put it in the corner. And, um, oh yeah, we just need to ch insert a chair. Insert a chair. So we'll put that in there like that. So that's got a... It looks like everything. We've got the toilet and the doors. Oh, there's another chair over here. Um, uh, copy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, oh, there's one there, and um, let's rotate it 90. Yep, and it's gonna go in over here, so I'll just put it there. Yep, no, oh, put it against the wall, I suppose. Well, do. Okay, so there's chairs in there, and um, that is all in there. Chairs. Yep, and all the doors like that there. So that's pretty much move the sink, add doors, adjust it, add windows. File cabinets in the office. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Just in there. Yep. All right. So now we're going to go insert blocks using Design Center. So we've used the pallets there. So I right, will get rid of that. Okay. So toggle off the layers furniture and plumbing. Toggle them off. Home. Okay. Walls. So furniture. Turn that off. And plumbing. Turn that off. And we've got that blank there with the doors. In the layer control, make the layer planting as the active layer. So planting. Planting. And we double click. And it should, no, it hasn't. It should come up there, planting. Double click. Uh, now it's in there as the active layer. Yep. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, so that's here. Zoom out so there's room around the outside of the building. Okay, yeah, now. Uh, I want that window. So that, oh, why is that window gone green? Um, that's in the planting layer. We don't want it in the planting layer. Um, what layer should it a window be in? Um, should it be in the windows layer, maybe? The walls layer. Okay. So let's just put it into the walls layer. Otherwise it's going to look all green and out of place. Okay, right, open design center, which is in the view up here, and well, you, I thought that's where it was. Um, view cube, oh, damn, I oh, know this is, I think it's in here, design center, there it is. Okay, so that opens the design center. All right, and in the layer, make the layer, zoom in there, open design, in the design center folder supplied with the AutoCAD software, find the landscaping.dwg. Okay. Now this might be a bit of a stretch. Um... 
in Design Center folder supplied with the AutoCAD software and included in the sample ENUS folder. Oh yeah, sample. There's the sample folder. ENUS, there it is there, Design Center, and um, we want the landscaping drawing, landscaping drawing, landscaping drawing, right, and expand it and select blocks, which is here. Okay, and there's all sorts of little blocks over here. Okay, drag and drop several trues into the drawing. Move and... Ah, so drag and drop several trees. Okay, so that's that one. Um, what other one have we got? That one there. Oh no, probably don't want to, probably don't want that one. Uh, this one? No. Oh, okay, if we tick on them, you can see them coming up down here. So it's just really that one there, drag and drop. Um, so we got that one, what's swim? And stepping sprinkle shrub picnic park bench tree so how does that um hmm. I've only got that one there and where this other one comes from can we tree type three Block reference. No, they don't have like alternatives. I'll put that one back in here. Uh, delete. So we've got that one. Oh, hang on. There might be some others up here. Shrub. Sprinkler. Swimming pool. Tree. No. Huh. Don't seem to have a anything else in here. Park bench, north lamp, hot tub. Ah. Okay. All right. Oh, well, we'll um, just uh, see what we can do with this tree. So we've got this tree here, um, so we can put that up over there, and then we can make a copy, uh, just make some copies, I'll go CP for copy, and one, two, and so we can make that one there, uh, scale. We can scale that, let's see, enter, that one there, 0.5, oh, hang on, what's happening there, um, so we can go SC, enter, select the objects, finish the selection, and 0.5, Oh, okay. Point five. Yeah, and then that one there will be that one there, and that one there. SC, enter, specify a base point, and we'll go two. So there we go, we get a, um, a big one there, a little one. 
up there and this great big monster here right in front of the house where it blocks all the lights and what have you now we haven't I can't, can't manage to see that other that other one there I don't that's the only tree we seem to have there um, I don't think we can do elevations oh, no, I'm not sure no, it doesn't appear to be. So we just got that one tree there. Um, we did have the other one in one of the other drawings that we did. I'm just trying to think. Um, I can't quickly think what drawing it was that we had that other um, tree. So we could go back to that drawing and get some stuff out, um, out of there. But... Um, um several trees in plan view into the drawing um expand it and uh, set the current layer to hard shapes create a path of stepping stones around the trees um so i don't know whether the where the stepping shrubs stepping stones or we can put one of those in Oh, stepping stone, so we'll put that in. Yeah, that's a little stepping stone there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what that one. No, that one there was the top one. But I don't know that we can, if there's some way that we can use these to come look down on top. What's a clump? Ah, there it is there, clump. Okay, so there's the clump. Okay, which we've found there. Hot tub, lamp. Okay, clump, car. All right, so that's the clump and the two trees. So, all right, uh, and what else? The stepping stones. And there's, I think that's a hot tub, is it? Um, that they've got there, hot tub. No, lamp. No, clump car north park bench picnic ah picnic table so we can we can put a picnic table in here okay and this it'll do all right so let's drop the design center out of there so we've got those three trees there and we've got a clump up in up in there we'll go with that and uh another clump um uh, copy another clump over here um which will uh well i mean we can rot rotate it if we want to um 180 okay which doesn't really matter um we can position it exactly there if we want uh let's put the um that's the picnic table over there um and then we can put uh one of these uh copy uh that oh managed to copy that one there um copy so that'll go uh there okay uh, one of these big ones here copy put that in over here yeah that'll do like that alrighty like that and the picnic table is there and then we'll put some stepping stones in so put this one here move it over here to the uh, table and uh, we'll make it uh, a little bit bigger uh, oh, seem to um, SC for scale select the objects finish selecting the objects specify a base point 
and make it two times bigger yeah moved it over to there and we'll put it there okay and then we'll um cp it copy that's the base point there and then we can pop it pop it in around the little stepping stones or how we want to do it so that they oh it might be a bit more ga gap in there bring it round there and round to the door so that's a few stepping stones around there drag and stop several trees set the current layer to hards home to uh you want to set this to hard uh hardscape okay um and create a path of stepping stones now i've created the path but i'll just select all those and put them in the hardscape layer okay switch we can do just up here or anywhere really hardscape okay and that's made them go brown yeah uh, and save and close the drawing so yeah oh we can yeah so that's how that's all done so file save as um, which it was plan am save yep and then file uh, close okay and uh, so that there is um, a brief introduction to blocks so they can be in the drawing in the assert you can get them from the from the palettes that come with AutoCAD and you can get them from the design center any block that you've used in any plan you can access through design center and bring it into the current plan so what a lot of people do is have a library of blocks like a particular plan and every block they use they put that in that plan and then they can access their library at any time they want uh, obviously there's the the palettes there which divide it up into various categories and things so make things really e uh, really easy for you but that's AutoCAD basic 12.1 blocks and uh yeah that's the only um the only exercise in chapter 12 it's all about blocks very important um blocks and uh that blocks are usually uh, drawn in layer zero because if they're drawn in layer zero they can assume the properties of the layer that they go into which is a sort of a superpower that power that uh a layer zero has when blocks are in there all good cheers see you